Protesters clashed with police during anti-lockdown demonstrations in Sydney, Australia on Saturday. Thousands of people, mostly maskless, gathered in defiance of public health orders amidst a growing COVID-19 outbreak. The protest turned violent fairly quickly as demonstrators threw potted plants, paint and water bottles at police officers and media, while others physically assaulted police horses. New South Wales Police Minister David L. روایل خوب بود و بعد از اینکه دو سه مدال گرفتم از مسابقات بین المللی یک ذره مشهورتر شدم و در تلویزیون ها مصاحبه کردم اینو آن یک ذره مشکلات پیدا شد که نمیتونستم براحتی برم تمرین بکنم یک تعداد دشمن های پیدا کردم رای سخت سپری کرده خودم خیلی رای سخت سخت سپری کردم و حالا هم فکر نمی کنم در قلعه مفقت تا حالا رسیدیم کسی که معلم من بود از روز ابتدای اول قبلا قرمان، نایب قرمان جهان بود و او را از طریق تلویزون دیده بودم و خیلی دوست داشتم که بتان روز به کلپ از او برم تمرین بکنم و به او آرزوی خود در همان زمان رسیدم و رفتم و تمرینات خود شروع کردم در کلپ همان قرمان According to the Department of Agriculture report, China owns nearly $2 billion worth of acreage in real estate. So why is it important to soil China's buying power, they might ask? Let's ask former State Department spokesperson Morgan Ortegas. Morgan, thank you so much for being good here. Morning, good morning, guys. So happy to have you. It's nice to be here in person, and congratulations, Rachel. No one deserves this more than you. Oh, you're so sweet. We and agree. congratulations on your beautiful baby. I know it's the first time I've seen you since COVID. So. I'm getting the baby weight off. It's getting there. You look amazing. It's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> well, i got to ask this, though. So yeah. Why is China buying up so much farmland, and what can we do about it? So China has two things, we have two things that China doesn't, energy security and food security. They've got a lot of people to feed. So uh, in July, the beginning of July, it was the 100 year anniversary.